Okay, out in front of the bunkhouse this afternoon. I was sitting around looking at the flowers a little bit. My grandmother used to plant a lot of flowers around the farmhouse when I was a kid. Pretty much like this. Had all kinds of things in uh, beds around the house. I'm going to go back here to this, I'm going to call it a Swedish dry sauna arrangement. Now, none of us really use the dry sauna. And Ricky and Chris think they can uh, turn it into a, a meat smoking facility in there. Where we can smoke uh, pork and bacon and beef, chickens. And I told them to go at it if they think they can do it. I don't think any of us are going to use the place. I sure would like to have some smoked bacon. Now I've got uh, an appointment this afternoon here, which we'll get in the truck for. We're going to go down south towards the mill, help pick out a location for the new biofuel facility. Let me take the dirt road back here. There's something else I wanted to see while I'm going this way. It's always struck me this field past the animal yard. Looks like somebody harvested it and just let the straw sit. Now I talked to Commissioner Steve a little bit about it. He thinks that uh, an old fella owns this property and had some bad helpers that kind of left him in a bind, harvested and just left this all like this on him. I might try to track him down and uh, see if we can help him out cleaning this straw out of, out of his field. was down at the gas station getting my coffee some time back and people were a little bit excited about the biofuel plant maybe coming to Hobbs Farm. I think it might uh, attract some other things in the town here. Alright, this is the first plot of land that the refinery may go in. Now, I'm not exactly sure how big it is. It might fill this whole plot. It might not. It'd be nice to have a turnaround area for large trucks to come in and out. Depend on how they lay it out. I'd hate for uh, anything to interfere with this entrance ramp to the silage bunkers we'll go down here look at the second plot of land go past the old mill Now this plot has uh, this driveway coming off, so we won't want to block that. It's pretty much open in the front to drive in and out. And we've got the driveway we came in. Like I said, I don't know exactly how big it's going to be. Whether we might be able to put it right here with the entrance facing that driveway or not I guess we'll just have to think about it well I'm gonna go over to the gas station and get a cold drink and then we'll get to some farming 
All right, we're in front of the shed for cattle fattening. And you see we bought some feeder cattle. Now we need to do all the stuff to take care of them. Give them feed and water and such. And we'll do that this morning. All right, we've got the JCB tractor hooked up to our Zunhammer water tanker. We need to go around the side of the building here to the big blue water tank and give the cattle some water. We can maneuver this in there. All right. They didn't take that much, but we don't have many cattle in there yet. So we'll park this and uh, go grab the Multiba trailer. Alright, wandering over to the grain store here. Now we're going to get some straw for the bedding for the cattle. I'm not quite sure how much tin will take. I don't imagine it's a terrible lot of straw. Let's try to get 10,000 in here and start from there. There's a lot of attention you need to have uh, taking care of animals. Keep an eye on them, make sure they don't get sick. Especially animals, if one gets sick, they can make uh, your whole herd sick. So you want to keep an eye on that. And we'll see if the Multiva will dump their straw where they need it. Oh, it didn't take much at all. All right, back to the grain store for some more different kinds of feed. All right, back at the grain store. We're going to go inside and use the central fill system instead of our telehandler to get a little bit of grain for the feeder cattle. Pull up under our pipe there. All right, what do we have the most of? We've got a little bit of wheat. We've got quite a bit of barley. Let's give them cattle some barley. I wouldn't guess more than 5,000 is going to be necessary. All right, we've got our barley. And we're going to pull up next to this green silo. Try to dump our barley there. If my backing is up to it. Right, there's the trigger. They really didn't take much at all, did they? All right, now we're going to go get some sugar beets and feed them some root crops. Okay, here at the grain stores again. And I am going to load up sugar beets with our telehandler. Because I don't think we're going to need even a bucket load of sugar beets. To fill up the bin at the cattle yard. Let's 
We'll just get a little bit in here. If I can heat, keep from hitting the concrete barriers, we're driving off the edge. I should have used our crab steer for that to get in and out of there. I just didn't think of it. I can get our sugar beets dumped in the trailer. All right. Off back to the cow shed. All right. Got our little trailer of sugar beets. Uh, let's see if I can maneuver in here. Dump them off. This is where our root crops go. They didn't take much at all. So now we need to get Granddad's Kubota and give him some mixed ration and silage. Taking the back way behind the field where the milk cows live. We're going to get probably about half a bucket of this silage because we want to make sure we get both silage and mixed ration into their feeding trough. I don't want to overfill with one so I can't put the other in. So we may go back and forth a few times till we get them all filled up. Make sure we don't get too awful aggressive here on speed. See if we can get about a thousand into it. Well, let's see if we can dump a, just a little bit out. Manage that. I think if we're careful, we can get pretty close. Yeah, good enough. All right, back over to the cattle shed. All right, time to dump a bucket of silage into the feeding troughs in here. If we can maneuver in here. I think that's about it. Like I said, I don't want to get him too full of silage so we can't feed him any mix ration. I think that's just enough to put a little bit of mix ration in there. So we'll be back with a half a bucket load of that. Alright. We'll maneuver under here. and get a part bucket load of mixed ration for our feeder cattle. Well, we got more than I thought we would, but uh, what we don't use, uh, we can use in another way, I guess. Give it to the cattle, the milk cattle. Let's see if this fills things up in here. I already think I see a better, better way to fill this next time. Alright, should be done with our feeder cattle. Just need to keep an eye on them once in a while. 
send one of the guys over to check on them fill up some of their supplies I think we will give this to the cattle over here they might well need it see if I can turn in without hitting oh let's try to fill this trough up on our right and they took all of that so we're done for our animal work for today. I wasn't going to record this, but I thought this might need some explanation. In the scenes after this, we're going to have quite a bit more money, sort of mysteriously. But it's almost nightfall. And if you look at the screen, we have a great demand for silage. And overnight, I'm going to sell a couple of trailer loads of silage. And we're going to have a little bit more money the next time you see a scene in this video. All right, we're riding with Johnny in the New Holland T7 while he's cultivating here in Field 4. And you kind of notice that we have not collected the chaff from our harvest or the straw I guess you'd say like we normally do um, I thought it was a good idea to maybe cultivate it all in uh, to help the soil out we're not running soil mod but sometimes it's good to cultivate in the old natural materials like that Johnny looks like he's doing a pretty good job here have a look at the old uh, shack over there on the right. Interesting. Seems like he's doing a pretty good job on this. So, we'll let him get to it. Oh, I guess I should point out on the left here. We did put a small pole bar in it for our tractors and equipment that we're keeping down here by field four. Just something to keep things undercover. 